but these 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 this place where I am and I worked in a chemical industry they made their money and they made a lot of it through uh, um, the oil industry and the chemical industry and those things and, and so many of these people do not understand nor do they grasp the fact that without these these yeah and I know there's some things that smell bad but without these industries you you couldn't make medicine you couldn't make a lot of things so let's let's just you know we we used to make uh, uh, MTBE which was used in uh, unleaded gasoline you know to make unleaded gasoline you wouldn't have gasoline you wouldn't have this you wouldn't have that so you know let's you know people I don't know what they assume or think that when they come into places like this they simply assume and think that that uh, you know this is supposed to be anything different than what people are here in work and and that's not what you're gonna find so um, you know even though Beaumont Texas does have some bad things they have some good things as one of the man was talking about so um, there's you know there's a lot of, uh, uh, of things that are uh, left unsaid as we, we possibly say about living in, in areas where um, I think you know a lot of towns are built around industry whether it be the car companies, whether it be uh, uh, petrochemical industry, whether it be oil industry, whether it be whatever, most towns were, uh, were built around these things. Now, not all towns. Some towns have no industry and they're built around tourism like Florida, but, but they're built, Florida actually was built around basically Disney World. You know, Orlando and all these places, and, you know, if Walt, if, Disney World hadn't gone in there, these places would not be as popular. I mean, just think about it. If Disney World shut down, what would happen to Orlando? Oh, it'd still be there, but would it be as prosperous? Would it be as, you know, what would it be? I mean, that's what Orlando is, is named for. It's named for, uh, you know, when you think of Orlando, you think of Disney World, and you think of of uh, 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 Kissimmee and you think of these places uh, Universal Studios and all this other stuff and uh, I many people I've talked to go well we're, we're going to Orlando well you know where they're going they're going to Disney World or they're going to SeaWorld they're going to Universal Studios so most you know and Florida as well gets its revenue a lot of revenue from Disney and stuff like that so when we talk about these things you know understand that places that are prosperous usually are built off of prosperity from other things as well um and so he didn't have anything good to say about this area because it wasn't what you know he wanted uh, you know, it didn't have the entertainment. It didn't have the stuff. Well, it didn't have it because that's not what it was built upon. Now, Houston, Texas, uh, I've been to Houston a lot of times. Houston, Texas is also built off of, of, of oil industry a lot. It's, uh, uh, it has a lot of oil refineries down there. It has a lot of that stuff. But it is also built off of, of uh, very wealthy people uh, you, one of the things is the medical industry. Houston, Texas has MD Anderson down there. They have Texas Children's. Some of the best hospitals you can think of are built in Houston, Texas. Uh, uh, so they have medical facilities. They have places where people go and all that other stuff. So a lot of, a lot of things are built off of uh, what was originally there to begin with. Okay, now I'm gonna make the little tassel. I'm just gonna go ahead and come around like this. 
and come down and make a cut right here and here and just just to kind of move that away from that little thing right there okay there we go Let me kind of but so those those are the things that happen so a lot of these people and of course, you know, you have to believe, you can believe anything, everything on the internet, you know. <laughs> internet. Unfortunately, um, oh gosh, I don't even want to talk about the internet. I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. It's what people won't do for clicks and views, as they call. Uh, people just do the stupidest stuff. And they'll do dumb stuff. They'll go do pranks and you know, everybody, I think by now, has heard about the guy that pulled the prank and got shot. And uh, they asked him in the hospital, you know, are you going to learn your lesson? And he said, I can't wait to get out so I can pull some more pranks. Well, that's not very bright, you know. But anyway, a lot of these people didn't get their education from being smart. So... Uh, Okay, we'll just keep doing the, keep making the hat. You know, more and more. And uh, so, uh, we're just going around the hat, in other words. And now, as you can see, there we go. We're we're looking, we're looking pretty good on this. We gotta get some areas that we gotta take care of, like right in here and stuff. And the and we just on that that nose. Okay. But you know, we you you learn and understand that you know you you uh, um, every every place is different and every place has its purpose and its reason, and that's why we uh, we do have the things that we do. And yes, I know that that. It's not good to be breathing a lot of this stuff down here, but, you know, it's, it also is, you know, uh, the coal miners, I know the coal miners didn't, they didn't like working in the coal mines, and, and I know there's a lot of things, but sometimes people from areas don't understand that, that people want to work and, and, and provide for their family, and they're, They'll take that risk in their life, you know. Even though I know it's it's not a always the best risk in the world, and it's it can be dangerous. They take that risk because they want to provide for their family, and I think it's. Uh, I understand those things too very much. Um, and I get off on this. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we're slowly getting, see, we're slowly getting that, that down there. And, um, So when you, you find a working community like this, most of these people are working so much, they don't really have time for entertainment anyway uh, until they have days off. And, and most people down here, I don't know about most places, see, a lot of people, they work a certain, um, like nine to five or something like that. Well, 
down in these areas, these people don't work like that. Most of them work um, more hours. They like work 12, sometimes 16 hours a day. And these refineries, and then these, these are contractors and stuff, and they may have to stay over. Uh, not all of them, but some, some of them do. So um, um, they work a lot. And when you work 12 hours a day, um, you think about it, you, you, you basically work and sleep, you know, until you can get you a day off to do things and, and all that other stuff. So, uh, yes, entertainment is important, but that would be only a short distance from Houston. Uh, people can go, or Galveston. I'm not that far from Galveston, Texas. And uh, the beaches and stuff like that. So, um, there's the ability. Now there's a little brim that we're gonna go ahead and put, start start working on around this, this uh, uh, here and goes there so it would not go down all the way to there okay or would it no anyway okay um, so those are just things that we uh, okay we're making our little brim here and we'll, we'll, we'll decorate it later. Now here comes the regular garbage truck. <laughs> oh boy. Here's a... Um, excuse me, let me, let me get up. For a second, there we are. There's our regular garbage truck. Thank God for our sanitation workers. They pick up our garbage, folks, and they—they're uh, good people. Okay. Let me kind of go back here and bring these, bring this up around here. Yeah, we'll just kind of end it off right here. But, uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's, a lot of this just common sense, folks. Lord, just have common sense. But people, uh, in today's society, you don't make any money off your videos if you, if you have all this good stuff on there. You make your money off the videos by having negative stuff and bad stuff. It's a shame, isn't it? It's a shame that we, the world has to feel that we have to be negative in order to uh, have anything good. But unfortunately, people, just like people that read those uh, magazines on the newsstands, a lot of them, I'm talking about the the People magazine and all that stuff. You know, it's, it's people like to read bad stuff. I don't know why. They, they just don't understand. Well, move that a little bit more. Remove that a little bit more. 
So, you just kind of come in here. There we go. Just sort of a little. And uh, unfortunately, that's the way our society is in a lot of ways. They like to hear the bad things about people. I guess maybe it makes them feel better. I never was into that kind of stuff. <laughs> never was. Didn't like that kind of stuff. Okay, let me see. Now this is going to have to be thinner right in here. Kind of the tassel and, and let's... And let's take a little bit. Let's come back here. Let's go ahead and come back here and get our... our uh, Oops, our arms cut away. And we just kind of and let's just cut that and put our arms inside our pockets. Let's not forget that. Same thing here. Whoops. Well, that was the dryer. And, uh, all right, let's I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and make these boots instead of uh, shoes. How's that sound? Let's just go ahead and go all the way around and make them make them boots here okay cut from the top you know I there's a lot of things that maybe I regret that having to work all my life I know a lot of people told me that I could never work in one of those plants or stuff. That's like working in a prison and all that stuff. But I work to provide for my family. And I'm not don't you know, I'm not the all American boy, okay? But you do what you have to do to provide for your family. And maybe it isn't always the best, you know, isn't always what you want. But it's a good living. You know, my son, Matthew, works in a federal prison. He's in internal affairs. And I know he doesn't just, you know, he doesn't get up every morning and just go, yay, I get to go out there and be with all the big, worst derelicts in the world. I know he doesn't believe in that. But it provides for his family. And a lot of people cannot understand that. They really can. And most of you out there that have work jobs that that you really maybe you didn't want to spend your whole life working did it because it provided a good job for your family and a good salary for your family and so that you could raise them in, in nicer areas and stuff like that and I will not apologize for that I will not you know it's I would have loved to make a living wood carving. I would have loved to do that. But that was just not to be. You know, I didn't put uh, food on the table and stuff like that. So, um, uh, I did what I had to do. And uh, in this area, that's right, there were, these were refinery jobs. These were jobs at uh, the oil industry. And I worked in it for 40 years. And I won't be ashamed. Good gravy. And uh, I would never be ashamed to, to say that I did it. Because, uh, all right, you see the little thing around here? At uh, the little brim that we have around here? And uh, so 
all those people left across the street for a little while so we can finish up. <laughs> um, so never, never apologize for what you did for your family. And uh, even if things didn't turn out just right with your family, even if certain people felt that they, you know, they didn't necessarily like just that kind of lifestyle, you do it because you love your family. And if, if uh, my son, I've told my son, you know, that, that one day you'll, you'll understand with your children that the joy you will get in your life is watching your children have a good time, not so much you have a good time. We have so many selfish people in this world. We really do. So many selfish people in this world that it's more important that they get what they want rather than their family being provided for. I see it all the time. And I'm, I'm, I don't mean to get on a, a soapbox here, but I am a very family oriented person. And uh, I don't believe in that. I do not believe, I believe your family comes first. And when you have children, well those children you know, they, they have to come first now. They're, they're provided for and, and stuff, but I watch it all the time where people don't, you know, our church, is, our church has a lot of kids that come in on buses and stuff, and a lot of those parents <clears throat> have nothing to do with their children because our, our bus, bus people tell us, you know, all the bad things that they see as parents who have absolutely have nothing to do with their kids whatsoever so it is very sad for me all right we're getting him down to the nitty-gritty now now we got to think about putting clothes on him now do we want to put um, uh, Christmas clothes on him or I, I think to be honest with you we'll just put a overalls on him just go ahead and put some overalls on him and um, um, okay we're just cutting a little but <clears throat> 